Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to download and set up AVI Synth. This is a very good VHS effect, but it's very confusing to use because it's old, obviously, and there are a lot of bugs in it still. But anyways, let's get on with the video. So first, what you want to do is download AVI Synth. That'll be the first link in the description. So you just click download and wait for that to download. I actually kind of recorded this, but I forgot to click record, so it's kind of annoying, but... So yeah, it will just take a short time to download. Then the second link in the description, virtual dub, and you just click download. And don't mind the two, that's just because I've downloaded it before. And then the third link in the description, just click download on that, but when I was putting the links in it, obviously, downloaded it straight away. And now you can either drag this onto your desktop or into a folder. So I've got them all in a folder. Then first you want to extract the AVI synth. And for this you can use WinRAR or the inbuilt extracting. But extract it. And this is going to be the folder where you put everything into. Then you want to extract virtual dub. And then go into the folder and then double click on this one. And then you want to double click on AVI synth. And it will come up with a pop up. Just click yes. And then go through this. And then as you can see, it starts doing that. And then you can just click next and finish. And then you can delete these folders. Then if you double click on this, you can see all of this stuff. And this is going to be the folder where you put your videos into. So for example, I'm going to put this video in. I'm going to change the resolution to the resolution that it's meant to be. 640 by 480. And one main thing, it has to have audio. If you're putting into virtual dub it's not going to work if it doesn't have audio so make sure it has any type of audio and also another main thing it has to be exported as avi or it has to be an avi file so now if we drag that into this folder or copy it into the folder remember the name so mine's vhs test one that i named it so then go into the effect and change the name here but keep dot avi and then save this then what you want to do is search up virtual dub, click it, and then you can drag the effect onto it. But this will come up. So what you want to do is download Xvid. That'll be the fourth link in the description. And just click download now. So now if you just click on it, click yes, OK, next, I accept, next, 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 and then do all of these next next and wait for it to download and then finish then if you try again this might appear so if this happens you can copy this whole notepad into your own one so if you delete all of what you've got maybe back it up just in case in another notes and then replace the one that i've put in the description but the only thing you have to do is change the name and you can still mess around with some of the settings like opacity audio levels and all of that stuff and all you would need to do is then, again, change the name of this. So now that we've got it vhs what we can do is go to video, compression, click on xvid, you can click configure, and you can change this down. I normally put on about one, and then you just want to click OK. And then you can save as AVI, name this test first or something. And as you can see, it will do this. And there we go, that's it. But anyways, if this helped, remember to subscribe and like. If there's any bugs, just comment down and I can maybe make a video on it. But anyways, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.